Good morning and happy Wednesday. I hope that for those of you who might be coming on that you're having a great morning so far and for those who watch it later that you're having a good day. Um, good morning. Oh, hi Brett. <laughs> good morning. And if you are coming on, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments that you're here because it's nice to know that you're here. And for those of you who might not know, <clears throat> hi, my name is Courtney Herewald. Hi, Brett. That's my husband, Brett. Um, and for those of you who don't know, yeah, my name is Courtney Herewald, and, and I am just uh, a part of River Heights Vineyard Church. I am on the volunteer preaching team, do worship, and life groups and all that kind of stuff. So I get to do this every other Wednesday, so I'm really glad that the staff lets me do this. Um, if you've watched some of these before, uh, you might know that I often come on here quite frazzled because I have two small children at home, and no matter how much I try to prepare um, and keep them occupied, uh, often they end up interrupting me anyways. <laughs> and so, um, and I'm always trying to rush and get them settled before I come on here. Um, so today was no different, but that doesn't mean that I don't love to do this and be here with you. And so today I thought I would have my mug here to remind me of how this my state of mind should be. I know it's backwards, but it says Little Miss Sunshine. Um, and so as you see with the weather and um, my circumstances... <laughs> with kids in the morning and getting all this situated. Um, this is a good reminder of me, for me. Little Miss Sunshine, I may not feel it yet, but I'm gonna speak prophetically that this will be me today. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got some stuff this morning. So thank you for joining me, and um, I'm gonna try to keep it a little shorter this morning. Um, I know I always say that and then I don't, but I'm gonna try. And so, um, but I wanted to share just a little um, prayer for, to start with. It's a prayer that's from a book called Gorillas of Grace by Ted Loader. Um, it's a great book of written prayers um, that have really helped me when sometimes I don't always have the words myself and they are for different, different subjects and things. So the one that I thought of this morning um, that helped me was it's called Draw Me to Yourself, and last time I talked on here, which was a couple of weeks ago, um, I was talking about friendship with Jesus and just that idea of being so close in relationship with, with Jesus, and uh, hello, good morning, Melissa. Um, and so um, this morning, this is kind of in the same vein, this idea of drawing ourselves into the presence of Jesus. And so wherever you might find yourself this morning as you watch this, um, I just want to encourage you to take a deep breath, to just sit. You can sit with your eyes closed or whatever as I read this prayer and just invite uh, God's presence to be with you. Um, sometimes it just takes a minute for us to get kind of still and to actually ask God to be present with us, even though God is, but I think sometimes when we speak that out and we pray that, um, it helps calm us and, and make us more aware of God's presence with us. So I just want to read this prayer this morning to start us off. So it goes like this. In this moment, draw me to yourself, Lord, and make me aware not so much of what I've given as of all I have received and so have yet to share. <clears throat> Send me forth in power and gladness and with great courage to live out in the world what I pray and prof profess, that in sharing I may do justice, make peace, grow in love, enjoy myself, other people, and your world now and you forever. Amen. So I'll probably read that again at the end, but um, what I like about this prayer is that it kind of focuses um, centers ourselves on the idea that when we are drawing close to Jesus um, and we become aware of Jesus' presence in our life and uh, activity in our life, we can be reminded of all the things that we've been given. And so sometimes it's not so much about what we have given, as like the prayer says, but um, the things that we've received from God and the things that we receive from God are given to us so that we can then, out of the overflow, out of the things that God's given us, we can give that out to the rest of the world and to those around us. And so I think that that's a good reminder for me this morning is to, um, you know, be thinking about the things that God uh, 
we have to be grateful for and think about the things you've been given. Um, what kinds of things have you received um, from God and what kinds of things do you think that God wants to share out of the those things that he's given you? Um, I think I can tend to, to cling so tightly to the things that, that I possess or even my own thoughts or ideas and sometimes that doesn't leave room uh, for receiving all the good gifts that God has for us. Good morning, Dee. Just a minute, Sophia. <laughs> See, I told you, it doesn't matter what I do. They still call for me. Um, so that, those are my kids. But yes, so anyways, just making room and um, being reminded and asking God, God, what is it that you have given me today? What are the gifts that I can see around me? And when I think about those gifts, what are ways that you might want me to bless others with those gifts? Whether it be maybe you're having a particularly um, great day and you want to spread some of that joy to someone else, or maybe you've been um, gifted something that you could share with someone else, or maybe you love to make things, bake things, and maybe you could share some of that with a neighbor or a friend. Um, these are all things that, um, not just necessarily material things, but God's given us parts of your personality, parts of your um, just gifts of things that you're great at, your talents and things. And so when we think about those things that God's given us, um, we can also ask God how he wants to use us with those things to bring a, about greater joy and peace and bring about God's kingdom. Um, and so I think for me, having that time to just draw close to Jesus like we are right now. And so it's great that you're taking the time to do this. Um, actually helps us be able to become more in tune to those things and be more aware of them um, and to be able to let go some of the other things that aren't as necessary for our lives. And actually this weekend, I have an opportunity to go away to a place called Pachaman Terrace. Some of you may have heard that of that place, but it's a retreat center in Isanti, Minnesota. Um, and this will be my third time going. And you actually, it's like, uh, it's a Catholic retreat center. It's a silent retreat center. And so you get you put placed in a little hermitage, a little cabin of your own, no electricity and stuff, but you, they give you some food every day. And basically the whole point is to be um, in nature and to kind of block out distractions and to just have time to spend in the presence of God. And I am so excited about that, I, although I know some people might... Be, feel terrified thinking of that idea of spending a whole weekend alone. Um, but I think, and not all of us have the opportunity to do that, and so I'm very grateful. I try to make a point to do this at least once a year. I would like to do it more. Um, but that's why this idea is kind of more in my mind. I kind of get this longing or desire to be um, kind of away from distraction so I can almost be recentered again into um, thinking about um, my relationship with God and uh, how God sees me and apart from all the other noise and things around me. So uh, even if you don't have a chance to do something like that, I would just encourage you this week to try to find a minute of time or some time just to sit and to say, God, what is it that you gifted me with? What are the things that you have done in my life that I could maybe um, share with others and be grateful for? Um, <clears throat> and I was going to sing part of a song, but <clears throat> we will see how it goes um, because I just kind of want to end with this. <clears throat> My goodness. Um, I just want to end with this um, this morning and then say that prayer again, um, just as an encouragement to you um, to, to think about um, asking God to draw near to you wherever you are at um, when you're watching this. Um, so it's called Draw Me Close to You, and I may have sung this once before on here, and I don't often sing on here, but um, I was singing it this morning, and it just seemed like an appropriate prayer um, for the time. So, Sophia, I'm not done yet. I'll be right there. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll see if any children come in. So, um, this is a song that I grew up with in, in my um, church growing up, and so it's just one that sticks in my mind a lot. And so, um, maybe you can, uh, you know, maybe it'll resonate with you as well. So, it goes, draw me close to you. Never let me go, I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend You are my desire, nothing else will do 
Cause no one else could take your place To hear the warmth of your embrace Help me find a way Bring me back to you And then the chorus, which is kind of high for me right now You're all I want You're all I've ever needed You're all I want Help me know you are need So that's it <laughs> Sorry for the, the voice this morning. But if you want to look it up, the lyrics to that song, Draw Me Close to You, I would encourage you to do that. And just think that um, for me to, to, to sing that out and to, to say, Jesus, draw me close to you and um, that you're all I want, Jesus, that you are all that I need and um, help me to know that you're near. And so that's my prayer for you this this today or whenever you end up watching this is that you would know um, the presence of God with you, that you would know Jesus is near to you today. And so I just want to end once more with the prayer that I prayed at the beginning, um, just as a blessing for you as you go out um, today into your day. Um, so draw me to yourself. In this moment, draw me to yourself, Lord, and make me aware not so much of what I've given as of all I have received and so have yet to share. Send me forth in power and gladness and with great courage to live out in the world what I pray and profess, that in sharing I may do justice, make peace, grow in love, enjoy myself, other people, and your world now and you forever. Amen. So thanks for being here with me this morning. May you be blessed as you go out in your day. I hope to see you soon. And I hope I can share some things um, that God spoke to me and uh, encouraged me with uh, this weekend um, in a couple weeks. So have a great rest of your day. Bye.